Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner. We have also assisted with providing shelter for the homeless. And prior to COVID, we had a full service after school tutoring program where we provided free tutoring of all the core subjects. We provided snack and dinner and trips for all of the children. So when you donate to us, brothers and sisters, it allows us to donate back to the community at large. Thank you all in advance for your generous donations. And please remember that when you plant a seed, when you donate with us, it allows us the opportunity to donate back to the community. And I pray that the Most High God will bless each and every one of you abundantly. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again, and God bless. If you send a donation of $45 or more, please call one 313 305-4168 and leave a message with your name and your phone number. We will call you back to confirm your donation and your address so that we can send you today's message, a bottle of blessed oil, and a prayer cloth. Thank you again for your generous donation. This is a WGPR Detroit HD2 You're watching WHPS Highland Park, Detroit. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. should be and I am super excited to be here this morning um, if you've previously watched the shows you already know at the very top of the hour I always give resources that are available to the viewers so if you have not yet grab your pencil or pens please do so we gonna take a commercial break so you can find a pencil you can find a pen you can find a piece of paper to write on whether it's an envelope or out of a notebook but you're going to need something, all right, because I have a lot of resources that I'm getting ready to release to you, and I definitely want to make sure that you're able to take full advantage of it. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, I'm going to dive right in. So you are watching Highland Park Spotlight with your girl, Keisha B. <laughs> Justice for Mario Willis. Truth. Facts. Evidence. Matter. Log into justiceformariowillis.com. Read for yourself. Muscles, joints, or feet tired, achy, or distressed? Tried everything? Ringmaster Rubbing Oil is a vintage topical pain reliever, trusted for over 70 years, with a rich formula for the treatment of stubborn aches and pains. Packaged in a glass bottle for purity, our liquid can also be used in warm water for foot soaks and compresses. A little goes a long way. Try our time-tested formula, available in several sizes. Make a donation to WHBR-TV and receive two two-ounce bottles of Ringmaster Rubbing Oil for $25. Call 313-868-6612. Is arthritis, rheumatism, inflammation holding you back? Even ladies' menstrual cycle pain? Order Hurt No More. It's all natural and it works fast. Go to 86pain.com. You know, I played in the NFL back in the 60s. 
We could have used hurt no more after every day. I could have used something to relieve my pain. If you've got pain, I've got the answer. Hurt no more. Wherever the pain is, it'll grab it fast. 86 The Pain. Go to 86pain.com. Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. show I always without a shadow of a doubt give resources that are available to you so I hope that you had an opportunity to grab your pens to grab some paper to grab an envelope to grab something to write on and to write with so the very first program that I'm going to um, discuss is the Michigan Homeowner Assistance Fund so here's the thing they have allocated um, $242 million to the state of Michigan. Now, it's a little bit more than that, but this is specifically to fund the My Half program, and not many people have taken advantage of this. So, they are offering up to $25,000 for homeowners, all right? So, if you've been affected by COVID or had any type of hardship, they are offering relief. Now, who is eligible for My Half? To qualify for financial assistance, you must be able to show a qualified pandemic-related financial hardship that occurred on or after January 21st of 2020. Um, you must currently own and occupy the home as your primary residence and also have a household income equal to or less than 150% of the area median income. So that means 150% of the area that you live in, the median income for that area, you must be equal to or less than 150%. Now, what qualifies as a pandemic-related financial hardship? Um, that would be attest to a temporary or permanent loss of income in um, or on or after January 21st, 2020, attest to an increase in living expenses, such as medical expenses, inadequate medical insurance, increase in household size, or cost to reconnect utility services on or after January 21st, 2020. Now, how much can you qualify for? Applicants are eligible to receive up to $25,000. $25,000 can go a long way, especially when you got bills. So if you have the ability to qualify for this program, please take advantage of it. So what types of home ownership related expenses does my half assist with? It's quite a bit. So if you have delinquent mortgage housing expenses, such as delinquent payments, property tax, or insurance escrow shortages, they help with delinquent land contract payments, mobile home consumer loan payments, or contracted mobile home park lot payments. They also assist with delinquent property taxes, delinquent condominium and homeowners association fees, delinquent homeowners insurance, hazard, flood, or mortgage insurance, delinquent utilities such as gas, electric, water, and sewer, and also delinquent internet services. So up to $25,000. If you own a home in the state of Michigan and you've experienced financial hardship due to COVID, so that means after January 21st of 2020, you have to be able to document that. You have to be able to provide the information. And how do you apply? By contacting them. It's very simple. You can call 844-756-4423. Again, that number is 844 756 
4423. Next, um, this is specifically for Highland Park residents. So there is the Low Income Household Water Assistance Program. It has been increased to up to uh, $1,500. Indirect payment assistance for household accounts in arrears or disconnect services. This is for your water bill. In order to be eligible, you must be a residential, um, must have a residential account here in Highland Park. You must be in arrears or disconnect status. And then you must also be under 150% of the federal poverty limit. Now, in order to apply, you can reach out to Wayne Metro. Now, here's the good thing about Wayne Metro. Wayne Metro offers a, on their website, they offer an application. You can put in one application, and it will actually find out all the programs that you qualify for. So even if you put in one program for one thing, you may qualify for something else also. But you would contact them at 313-388-9799. Again, that number is 313-388-9799. Nine, nine. Now, don't go saying that I done told you to do something else. Nope, call them, and they're going to go ahead and help you go through the process. Now, if you reside here in the city of Highland Park, you may be familiar with Save Detroit Health Clinic, which is located to 11 Glendale. Now, shout out to Save Detroit. I love them. They have Wellness Wednesdays that they do once a month at the rec center, but they offer a lot of services for families. Um, the first thing that they do offer is if you um, had a child. So this is for first-time moms. This is for moms who didn't have five or whatever. So this is a free program to support moms and the babies through the first year. So they offer free baby supplies and education. Clients learn to set goals for the baby's first year and work with a case manager for one-on-one -on -one help. Now, in order to receive assistance, you do have to contact Alexis Harvey. She will be able to um, get you registered because registration is required in order to participate. Um, you can reach her at 586-345-0225. Again, 586-345-0225 for an appointment. It was only allowed uh, twice a week, but now she's opened it up to where um, you're able to set an appointment for any day. Walk-ins are not accepted at this time, um, but they do provide free baby supplies. Next, if you don't have a doctor, if you don't have um, health insurance, they offer free services um, for exams for colds, flu, ear infections, hypertension screening, cholesterol screening, diabetes screening, um, laboratory services, uh, breast cancer screenings, weight loss classes, dermatology, um, podiatry services, fitness classes, health education. All of these services are readily available at Save Detroit Health Clinic. Um, this, again, this is a free clinic. They provide examinations, maintenance, and preventative health care for underinsured men and women. They are open on weekdays. However, you do have to make an appointment. So if you're interested in making an appointment to see the doctor, you can reach them at 313-758-6100. Again, that number is 313-758-6100. Now, this program here I'm currently taking full advantage of, and there are so many services that are free and not many people know about them. So the first, this one is called Michigan Reconnect. Now, Michigan Reconnect provides um, adults 25 and over who do not have a college degree. They have a high school diploma or a GED, but do not have a college degree. Now, here's the thing. Me, yeah, I went three and a half years. I, it was my mom got sick. I had to come out of school. Um, but... Through uh, Michigan Reconnect, you can actually have your tuition paid for. They actually will pay for um, in-district tuition, technology fees, and contact hours, which are not already covered by the Pell Grant or any other tuition fund. So out-of-district students who receive the scholarship will be required to pay the difference between the in-district and out-district tuition rates. Um, to be eligible to apply, you must be 25 years of age or older. 
be a Michigan resident and have lived in Michigan for a minimum of one year. You must also have a high school diploma or GED and have not completed any college degrees. To apply for Michigan Reconnect, you will just go to the website, which is michigan.gov forward slash reconnect, or you can email them at reconnect at wccnet.edu. Now, this is if you want to go through Wayne County Community District. But you, again, you can also apply through michigan.gov forward slash reconnect. The very last thing that I am going to discuss this morning um, is I happened to come across this company at one of the Wellness Wednesdays that was provided by um, Safety Truck. Okay, now this is pretty, pretty awesome. This is called Clear Captions. Now, Clear Captions is available for any person who has experienced hearing loss of any kind. Um, they have uh, on-screen captions of your phone call. You receive a handset, and on that handset, it will legit put your whole conversation right there on the screen. I mean, it's pretty neat. Um, so even if you're on the phone and you're holding the handset, if you wanted to go back to a conversation that you had a week or two ago, you can pull up that call log, and it will have the caption of your entire conversation. So if you're trying to tell somebody, oh, well, you said this, <laughs> now they, you, you got it in your phone. Like, you can legit show your phone and say, hey, this shows that this is what you said at this time on this day, and you can catch anybody up. If you, gotta, if you don't remember what the doctor said, you can pull the information up. It's amazing, and it's free. So to get the phone, you have to call 866-219-3373. Again, that number is 866-219-3373, and you have to have internet service. So the only issue is that you do have to currently have internet service um, in order to utilize the phone. However, there is no cost to you to have the phone, to receive the phone, and to install the phone, nor is there any cost to you to utilize the phone on a monthly basis. So again, if you're actually interested in this, you can call 866 219 Seven, three. So at this time, we're going to take another commercial break. I have Officer Wilborn here in studio with me, who is going to be joining me when we come back. So you are watching Highland Park Spotlight, and I am Keisha B, and we will return right after this. <laughs> Platforms are engaged. Copy. Get ready to launch your show or product. Periscope ready. We're 5x5 five five ready to launch. Copy that. Trend worldwide across all major platforms. Ignition. Three, two, one. The world is waiting. Watkins Broadcasting. More than just TV. The Detroit Water and Sewerage Department is looking for motivated Detroiters to be a part of our team. We have opportunities for field services technicians, engineers, and customer service specialists with competitive pay and benefits. Make a real difference with the work you do every day. Join other Detroiters who are taking part protecting the pipes where we live, work, and play. Learn more and apply at DetroitMI.gov forward slash jobs. DWSD, working hard for you. At the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department, we're working hard to protect pipes by cleaning public sewer lines to reduce flooding and speeding up the replacement of lead service lines. Protect your pipes with three easy tips. Pour grease into containers, toss wipes in the trash can, and check for running toilets, leaky pipes, and dripping faucets. For more tips, go to DetroitMI.gov forward slash protect pipes. DWSD, working hard to protect pipes for you. I'm Wayne County Treasurer Eric Sabri. We are living through unprecedented times with a global pandemic now approaching its third year. As a result, the Michigan Homeowner Assistance Fund was created. 
This fund, administered by the state of Michigan, is designed to help homeowners cope with pandemic-related hardships, such as delinquent property taxes. See if you qualify. Please visit. Call 313-388-9799 or email taxinfo at waynecounty.com. We're here to help. officers are, uh, well, let me back up. So, it's actually a volunteer position. Okay. Uh, where people, are, it's kind of like living the dream, kind of. Uh, some people may have wanted to be a police officer in their lifetime, uh, but things may have happened to where they couldn't do it. Okay. So, forth and so on. So, they say, hey, I still want to do it, so let me, you know, volunteer at different cities uh, or different municipalities where uh, they can be a police reserve and uh, kind of still give back to the community and also um, live out their dream, if you will. Okay, so the difference between them and the regular officer is they don't get paid? Not necessarily. So the, the difference between the reserve and what we call a certified or licensed is that the certifiers have a enclosed number. Okay. And it's the number that certifies them to... Uh, you know, be a police officer in the state of Michigan. And reserve officers don't have that number. Okay. So if I wanted to just become a reserve officer, like what would be the requirements to do so? So every municipality has like a minimum re uh, requirement for a reserve officer. Uh, most of them have, uh, you have to have your, C your CPL, at least have some type of security experience, at least one to two years. Uh, military, if possible, anything in your background that would uh, help and aid and assist into just having the knack or the gist to be a police officer. Okay, so you can't just just bring in anybody. No, we don't like to just bring in just anybody, just, you know, my man. That. Now, there are uh, doctors and lawyers and, and um, uh, what you call white-collar workers who, ha who hold badges and uh, reservists position. So, oh, okay. uh, I mean, because there is a training part to it. So we're not saying if you don't have any experience that you are already automatically ex out. Okay. We just would prefer you to have that type of training in your background. Okay. So if some, let's say somebody is already reserved. Okay. Right. Yeah. Say we came in, we have those the certifications, the requirements, so mm -hmm. to speak. How would they transition from a reserve position to the role of a licensed officer if they wanted to go that route? Mm -hmm. So, well, we, the, the cool thing here, especially about the city of Holland Park, is that we uh, have a program where we send people to the police academy. So uh, we actually send our reserves to the reserve police academy. Uh, I think the best way, unless you just know for a fact that's what you want to do, the best way to do it is kind of be a reserve first. Okay. See if you like it. And if you want to make that transition, you know, have a talk with the chief of police, so forth and so on. 
and uh, the municipality will sponsor you into a police reserve, uh, a certified police reserve uh, academy. So the, I know that you said that they provide the training, mm -hmm. so you can go to the police academy or training. Right. Mm -hmm. Where is the academy at? <laughs> <laughs> well, <we're laughs> <laughs> That's been a curious. I've, I've had that question for a while. Where is the academy? Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's in the basement. <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we we utilize Oakland uh, Oakland Community College Police Reserve and Police Academy. Okay. And that's where we send the majority of our officers uh, for training. Okay. So how extensive is training? Because I know you had to go through it. So. Oh yeah, I've been I've been through the academy. I've been through a few academies, but uh, the Reserve Academy I believe is 18 weeks. And so it was the police academy. Uh, the the um, the knowledge, the uh, all the education is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, with the certified police academy, it's a little more intense, and you get a little bit more education part. Okay. But it's basically the same. So basically, if you let's say you went through the reserve academy, mm -hmm. and let's say a year later you decide, hey, I want to go be a licensed officer and you go back through the academy, you're going to pretty much get a lot of the same things, just probably more intensified. Okay. So are you, so do the, hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. so the reserves or the individuals going through the training cat, the training police academy, mm -hmm. I got to get my words together, mm -hmm. are they simultaneously out in the field also, or are they strictly going through training? So when you, at the, at the time, once you say, hey, I'm in training, that's what you're doing. You're, you're in the academy. Okay. So the, now the Reserve Academy uh, is only a couple of days a week. Okay, so you go, because most people who say, hey, I want to be a Reserve Officer has a, already has a full-time job. Okay. Or something like that. So the Reserve Academy is like two days a week. Uh, four hours here being uh, like an eight or a ten hour day on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. The police reserve academy is a Monday through Friday. I'm sorry, I think it's Monday through Saturday. Whew. All day thing. You know what I'm saying? So when you're in the when you're in the academy, you're in the academy. That's your job. That's what you do. You're in the academy. Is the academy paid? Yes, you are paid while you go through the academy. So if you're a reserve going through the academy, you actually start getting paid for it. Not a reserve. The uh, <laughs> The certifies you get paid. The reserve you just go off for education. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so is Highland Park currently looking for reserves? Yes, Highland Park is. Uh, we are looking for looking to appoint reserves and looking to hire certified police officers. All right. So on that note, mm -hmm. all right. Um, we know you just said that you're hiring for reserves, hiring for police officers. Mm -hmm. And having a police presence in the community is critical to me. Yes. I, I think it is. Um, even during as much as the, during the times where the controversy is heavy mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. police, right. we're just going to be real. Uh -huh. Of course. Um, and in order to make a difference, we have to become the difference, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So, it, hey. And <laughs> don't talk about police officers. You know, like if you can, if you feel that you can actually make a difference, why not be that difference? Exactly. Um, can you go into detail why having reserves and police officers are actually truly necessary for the community? Well, so let's first of, so the, the job of a reserve is to help and aid and assist the police department mm -hmm. uh, in whatever means and necessaries that is needed with, within the rounds of uh, our certifications, you know. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, it is still necessary whenever a municipality falls short, low on manpower, reserves are to step in, help aid, and assist. Okay? Okay. It helps the community, and I think reserves are essential because um, when it comes to certain things or certain different avenues of dealing with people, you never know what that reserve uh, does in his or her full-time position. So let's say, for instance, if we have a lot of reserve officers who work in the hospitals. They okay. do security in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of extra training that comes along with that by working in a hospital. So say, for instance, if you have a situation on the street and you have a person, it's like a mental health situation. Well, people that work in hospitals, I did, I did hospital security myself for over 15, over, over 
No, it's been like 20 years. Mm. Okay. I'm better equipped probably to deal with that individual because we deal with it and we're trained to deal with it in the hospital. So uh, you have different, when you have reserve officers, you come from every every walk of life. You know, they, you got so many different people that do so many different things. So that's one way it can it can help in in uh in aid. But even even with the uh, negativity that's all police officers at the moment, it's not geared towards every police officer. But officers, of course, as you know, they're still they're they're still needed because crime doesn't stop. Crime is going to continue as long as there's breath in people who are going to get people they get up every morning look that's looking to do wrong. So once as long as those people are still on earth, officers are going to still be needed. Agreed. And I know um, the previous show I had the chief of police, your mm-hmm. boss song. Yes, yes, the, big, <laughs> the big, big boss. boss right. That's what you call them, the big boss. So I know I had um, the chief of police on, and we kind of had a discussion in regards to police presence, mm-hmm. and especially here in Highland Park, and um, how when police officers come on the scene, mm-hmm. it's usually after something has happened. You know, it's like they, well, no, seriously, you call because something happened. You mm-hmm. call because something is in progress. Mm-hmm. But up until that point, you know, right. it's in our hands as residents, as right. a community. Mm-hmm. So um, I just think it's imperative for us as a community, as residents, to be mindful, mm-hmm. to be watchful, to be vigilant in the things that we do. And things have now become, you know, uh Social media, yeah, talk to me. you know, uh, like it's it's not what it used to be because it used to be, yet. you know, um, it takes a village to raise a child. Mm-hmm. So if it takes a village to raise a child, then what does it take to raise a community to help build up the community? Yeah. It takes a lot of people, and so um, the police departments are critical. Because who else are we going to call? We can't call exactly. the Ghostbusters. Right. <laughs> and then, and then what, you, what you said makes so much sense because when you look when you look at it, when I was coming up, not that I'm so old, but when I was coming up, uh-huh. if you had two kids, two juveniles fighting, somebody in the neighborhood, in a, an adult would get involved and break it up or something. Or if you saw a man beating a woman, mm-hmm. uh, some other man or something, uh, would jump in and, and, and try to defuse the situation. But now, you see that stuff, what, what happens? You just see cell phones out. That's it. That's, that's it. Nobody intervenes. Nobody helps. Uh, you, people see uh, somebody doing something to a minor. Mm-hmm. They just, a cell phone just breaks out. Very rarely do you see people trying to intervene. So a lot has changed over the years. Even policing has changed yeah. over the years. You, you know, no longer people aren't even accepting. Like, hey, I told you go stand over there. For what? I gotta go stand over there? Well, we just had a we got a homicide right here. We need you not to be stepping in the blood because you got your footprints in the blood. You know, right. it, it don't matter. It's my right. You know, everything has changed. But uh, even still, with the changing of everything, you know, police policing is still it's, it's still needed. It's, it's still viable. Agreed. And I, I just hope that um, people that are watching the show actually have a kind of, it, it, it kind of changes the, the paradigm, changes their way of thinking about policing. Um, and then to become a reserve if possible. Yeah. You know, like I think it's awesome that you guys have that position where someone can come in and assist the community. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's behind the scenes, on the side of a police officer, you know, working in the um, what is it, the department itself, you know, but just being a part of that change. How can someone actually apply to become a reserve officer? Well, City Hall is open Monday through Friday. You can always go into uh, City Hall on Wilbur, California, and request an uh, application. Uh, I do believe you can go on the Island Park website okay. and uh, get the application off the website, and you can apply that way. That's for reserve and uh, license. Uh, so those are probably the two ways you can uh, apply. So it's the same application? It is the same application, yes. Okay. You go, you go through the same uh, background check. It's a very extensive background check. So you go through the, uh, let me just get back up. If you have any felonies, <laughs> you probably won't be able to get in. <laughs> 
Yeah, so that's it's necessary. Very, it's a very extensive uh, background check. Okay. But both both sides go through it. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then when we return, we have a few more things we're going to touch on before the end of the show because I got to go at 12.30. But I'll be back in a couple of weeks. However, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we return, we'll get right back to it. This is a free program for our young adults. The Detroit Empowerment Program is sponsoring an introductory to basic broadcasting course. Our open house is Saturday, February the 25th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Martin Evers Missionary Baptist Church at 11111 Whittier in Detroit, Michigan. Call 313-405-9990 for more information. This course is free for all young adults. Muscles, joints, or feet tired, achy, or distressed? Tried everything? Ringmaster Rubbing Oil is a vintage topical pain reliever, trusted for over 70 years, with a rich formula for the treatment of stubborn aches and pains. Packaged in a glass bottle for purity, our liquid can also be used in warm water for foot soaks and compresses. A little goes a long way. Try our time-tested formula, available in several sizes. Make a donation to WHBR-TV and receive two two-ounce bottles of Ringmaster Rubbing Oil for $25. Call 313-868-6612. Is arthritis, rheumatism, inflammation holding you back? Even ladies' menstrual cycle pain? Order Hurt No More. It's all natural and it works fast. Go to 86pain.com. You know, I played in the NFL back in the 60s. We could have used Hurt No More after every game. I could use something to relieve my pain. If you've got pain, I've got the answer. Hurt no more. Wherever the pain is, it'll grab it fast. 86 The Pain. Go to 86pain.com. Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. Wilborn here in studio with me, um, who is Reserve Chief, and we've just been having a conversation about uh, police reserves, the police academy, um, joining the reserves, and he hit on something, and I was like, you know what, let me pull this information up and provide it to those that are watching. So um, if you're interested in any um, position as far as with the police, there is a program that is available, and it's through Michigan Clean Slate legislation. Now, um, Safe and Just Michigan has uh, is one of the organizations that provides the expungement services for people who have nonviolent offenses on their record. Um, they will help with expunging that from your record. Um, let me see here. I wanted to pull this up because it's definitely needed. Um, so what type of offenses can be eligible? Well, no. Are there any offenses that are not eligible for automatic expungement or expungement by application? The answer is yes. So the following offenses cannot be automatically expunged or expunged by application. Uh, certain DUI offenses, any offense punishable by life, 
any traffic traffic offenses committed by a person with a commercial driver's license or CDL while operating operating a commercial vehicle, any traffic offenses causing injury or death, felony domestic violence if the individual has a prior misdemeanor domestic violence uh, conviction, criminal sexual conduct first, second, and third degree, out-of-state convictions, and federal convictions. Outside of that, (laughs) you can apply (laughs) to have your record expunged. Um, The... Clean slate, bro. Why are you laughing? It's serious. I it's here. basically just regular junk. But it's seriously, regular, yeah. yeah. Um, it says here that the new clean slate law helps to expand the eligibility petition for expungement in several ways. Um, the new process will automatically seal certain nonviolent convictions if a person has remained conviction free for a period of time. You can to find out if you're eligible for. Um, expungement because hey you may have something that is on there from years and years and years ago um, but they can still check to verify if you would still be eligible for it you would have to contact um, Project Clean Slate their phone number is 313-237-3024 again that number is 313-237-3024 to four. They are available Mondays through Fridays from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can also reach out to, like, Michigan Works because Michigan Works, whether it's Oakland County, whether it's the one here in Highland Park, they also offer um, the Clean Slate program through them. Whether it's, you know, you don't have to become a police officer, but if there's a position or a job that you're interested in and your record has a few bruises to it, contact Michigan Works, or you can contact Project Clean Slate. So, back to you, sir. Yes, ma'am. That was some good information. I I, I hope that it helps um, a few people. So, I know that uh, you mentioned that as far as the application for reserves and police officers, it's available online. Highland Park MI.gov Right. Employment opportunities. <laughs> like I don't know exactly where it's at. I don't remember um, exactly where it stands uh, on the site, but I do know it's under employment opportunities, and the position is there uh, for a police officer, and it would be the same application. Correct. Right for the reserves. Okay. Perfect. So I have another question though. Okay. So I know that you have police officers, mm-hmm. police reserves. Uh-huh. What about chaplains? Yes, we do have a chaplain corps here in the city of Highland Park. Uh, the chaplain corps is a very viable uh, unit that we uh, utilize okay. uh, here in the city of Highland Park. Uh, so they are uh, trained and uh, now first to listen this back up. And the chaplain corps consists of uh, ministers of the gospel, mm-hmm. uh, deacons, ministers, pastors, preachers, elders, deaconess, evangelists. So forth and so on. Okay. Uh, so uh, they uh, they have a rank and file, just like the police department does. Uh, they are very uh, valuable uh, unit that I, I think that we uh, can't be without, really, to be honest with you, because uh, I believe in Jesus. Amen. Uh, Amen. They, Amen. Uh, they, 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 uh, they come. They You can talk to them, uh, especially now with a lot of mental health things going on. Yeah. You know, sometimes you may not feel comfortable talking to you know, your partner, your brother, your sister, you can call a chaplain, they will, they will talk to you, they, and they are trained. Awesome. Uh, they will talk to you, uh, counsel you, uh, pray for you, pray with you. Uh, there is a chaplain on call 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, um, all that stuff should be on file somewhere at the police department, at the police station. Uh, chaplains, uh, they're, they're, we, we, we love them. <laughs> yeah, yes. So would a chap, if someone was interested in becoming a Highland Park Police Chaplain, mm-hmm. um, is that process the same as far as reserves? It, it is, but it's not. So you still have to fill out an, apl- uh, fill out an application. You have to go through an interview process. Uh, to become a chaplain, you have to be licensed in some type of ministry. Okay. okay, so we're not saying you have to be a pastor, mm-hmm. but you have to be licensed already in some type of ministry. Uh, you have to be connected to 
uh, you have to be connected to some type of uh, synagogue, church, spiritual something, you, you know, in order to be a chaplain. You can't just walk in and be like, oh, I want a badge, so I want to be a chaplain. You know, you have to be uh, viable uh, in some type of spiritual connection with some type of uh, church or, or, or something, you know. Okay. So um, the police chaplain, um, do they go to a lot of the scenes, or are they more on call? Uh, more so on call. Okay. Uh, not that they can't go because they can't. Okay. Uh, but mostly we kind of save them for, like, on-call situations. Uh, so let's say, for instance, uh, there's, like, a homicide or something like that, and the family is kind of tripping or something like that, going crazy. Uh, we may call a chaplain in to help with the notification. Okay. Uh, something like that. Or let's say if um, we know that we need to go let someone know that, hey, you just lost someone in an accident or a shooting or something like that, uh, we'll probably call a chaplain and say, hey, why don't you come with us, uh, you know, and if, you know, they may need some counseling or some prayer, something like that, we have a chaplain on, on hand for that. Okay. So it, to become a police chaplain, um, there's no training that they have to... Yes, they, they, they do have training. So okay. in order to become, in order, one, to be considered, okay. you have to have, like I said, some type of license in the ministry, whether you're deacon, minister, uh, evangelist, pastor, uh, so forth and so on, uh, you know, treasurer at, at the church, secretary at, at the church, uh, or whatever church it is that you go to, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you go through your background, whatever, there is a training that the, uh, that the chaplains go through to be a chaplain and learn how to do death notifications, learn how to pray in certain situations, okay. how to talk to and counsel, uh, the grieving or, or bereavement, stuff like that. So, how long is that training for? Uh, I do believe the training for is like eight weeks. Okay. So, that's outside of Correct. being with high exactly. Park, but exactly. eight weeks. Right. So, do they have to, they got to bring their license? Yes, you have to present all that at least at the end of your, what's the, your application or something like that. What if it was lost? <laughs> you got to find it. <laughs> Well, no, I, so, I didn't so, ask well, well, so, say, for I mean, if you're just standing with your church, you should always be able to go and get a copy of it, you know. So, should, what if, should be. so hi, okay, all right, let me, I'm licensed, right? Okay, okay. But the church that I was going to is no longer around. Okay. My license was destroyed, unfortunately. Okay. I don't have access to nothing, huh? <laughs> you just I, mean, I still have access to the pastor, but I mean, well, the pastor should be able to. Uh, if if the, if the pastor is still licensed as a pastor, if he still has his credentials, he or she has their their credentials, then they can vouch for you. Okay. They can give a letter stating okay. that hey, he or she is in good standing. He or she is and still was licensed under my ministry or whatever, blah, 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 and so forth and so on. Okay. So I, I gave it thought. Okay. I gave it thought at one point. A friend of mine, she's a chaplain, mm -hmm. and um, she's through the uh, Detroit Police Department. Okay. They yeah, have a good uh, core, a good chaplain core. Yeah. And um, I have a very close relationship with DPD, mm -hmm. and um, back in the day, they was asking me to do it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, nah, right. you know. <laughs> But, you know, it, it's just lingering in the back of my mind and always has since they ever brought it up. So We, we, we love to have you as a chaplain. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. I, yeah. Think about it. Let me know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So would you be over that also? As yes, far as yes the, the chaplains fall under my umbrella also. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm over it, but I'm not over it. There, there is, next to they have their own rank, they have their own rank and file. Okay. So there is a, uh, uh, a chaplain, commissioner, and deputy commissioners, what we, what we call them. But I, they sit up under my umbrella. Okay. All right. So we're cutting close to our time, right? Oh, man, really? <laughs> yep. So, so far. <laughs> so I know that, um, you know, you have a few things that you do outside of Highland Park. Okay. And before we 
have to jet off of air. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in particular you want to say to the viewers? You want to plug a few things, anything like that? Yes, I own and operate a security company. It's called DL Security and Personal Protection. Uh, it is a real security company. I pay taxes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also provide CPO training, basic self-defense training. Uh, if you are in need of any of that, uh, you can please contact me at dlsecurity.org. Uh, we can uh, do your CPO training, basic self-defense training. If you are a business or a company and you need security providers for you, uh, you can contact me also at dlsecurity.org. Awesome. And if you want to become a reserve officer, mm -hmm. HighlandParkMI.gov. HighlandParkMI.gov. Um, under employment opportunities, I think we're going to have to create just one specifically for reserves and one specifically for police officers. Exactly. That way, you know, they can right. click on the, um, the corresponding one, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then also to become a police chaplain. Exactly. You can right. do the same application. Mm -hmm. And do not forget Highland Park Police Department need officers. Yes, we do. So if you are retired, if you used to be an officer, if you, um, what else? Want to be, be, <laughs> <laughs> be a police officer? Please, 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 please apply. You, you don't know unless you apply. Um, if you uh, just have a desire to want to be a uh, positive impact on your community, apply. Whether it is for a reserve first, if you want to try it out and see exactly if it's a, a, a true fit for you, um, apply. I mean, we need as much help as we could possibly get. I am thankful because very often I see Highland Park Police ride through the neighborhoods. Um, I was coming into the office, and I saw a couple of officers. One was going one way, another was going another, but they were just, you know, going into the neighborhoods, and just um, their presence is felt a lot more now. Mm -hmm. um, you can definitely tell the difference. Uh, I know that we're bringing more and more officers on yes, board. Most definitely. So it's a positive thing. And if you have the desire, if you have the want, if you feel there's a need and you can help fill that need, please apply for either a reserve position, chaplain, if you have credentials as a minister, um, or actual licensed police officer. If you're in retirement, come out of retirement. Yeah, come, on. <laughs> come out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, if you're in retirement, come out of retirement. This is an opportunity to really make a difference because um, I love how Madam Mayor um, Linda McDonald, shout out to her, um, but she has this direction of we are one community. And in order to do so, we have to operate and we have to move as a unit. We can't be out of place. We got to be cohesive and work together to really build up the community. And I'm really seeing uh, – I'm, I'm really seeing her really try and push her ideals out there as far as bringing everybody together. Um, and so, hey, you want to be a part of the change? Help us out. <laughs> Help us out. Um, so we're going to take our last commercial break, and then we'll return. I'm going to recap some of the resources, and we're going to be out of here. So stay tuned. <laughs> Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. 
Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. At the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department, we're working hard to protect pipes by cleaning public sewer lines to reduce flooding and speeding up the replacement of lead service lines. Protect your pipes with three easy tips. Pour grease into containers, toss wipes in the trash can, and check for running toilets, leaky pipes, and dripping faucets. For more tips, go to DetroitMI.gov forward slash protect pipes. DWSD, working hard to protect pipes for you. Justice for Mario Willis. Truth. Facts. Evidence. Matter. Log into justiceformariowillis.com. Read for yourself. Spotlight. I'm your host, Keisha B, and I have Officer Wilborn here, uh, Reserve Chief for the Reserves here in Highland Park. Um, and uh, while we were off air, a, a question came across my phone. And, you know, it's a valid question. Um, so this is to you. Does it matter what city you live in in order to be a chaplain? No, it doesn't matter. So you can live in East Point and correct. be a chaplain here in Highland Park. That is correct. Okay. So doesn't matter what city you live in, um, you can be a chaplain here in the city of Highland Park, which again it would be awesome if you could do it. Um, I'm I'm gonna think about it. We gonna see. Tomorrow too. But I'm gonna do a quick recap of some of the uh, what was it resources that I gave earlier today. Because I want people to take advantage of this, if they can. Um, the My Half, uh, the Michigan Homeowner Assistant Fund, is a total of, well, it's over $242 million, which was allocated to the state of Michigan to fund the program itself. If you have not taken advantage of this, um, they're offering up to $25,000 per uh, family, per household, if you've experienced any type of financial hardship after January 21st of 2020, you do have to be able to prove that information in order to qualify. To apply for the um, program, please call 844-756-4423. Again, that's 844-756-4423. They are, co it covers the cost for housing expenses, property taxes, um, whether it's utilities, gas, electric, water, sewer, internet services, um, homeowners insurance, they're helping to cover the cost. Next was the uh, program through Wayne Metro. Um, they have a application on their website that you can fill out. Now, it's the universal application that you can apply for, that you can fill out, I'm sorry, and submit, which will uh, pull back the programs that you're eligible for. Um, this one here in particular is the Low Income Household Water Assistance Program for residents here in Highland Park. They're offering up to $1,500 in assistance for accounts that are in arrears or disconnect status. If you need help with your water bill, if you have past due um, bills, or if you have a shut off notice, please make sure that you reach out to them if you reside here in Highland Park. That phone number is 313 388 Nine seven nine nine again three one three three eight eight nine seven nine nine. Now they do have a program for those that reside in Detroit. So if you know someone who needs assistance in Detroit, you can also pass information along. It won't be this program in particular, but they do have one available. Um, one of the other programs that I talked about was the Michigan Reconnect. Michigan Reconnect, I'm taking full advantage of because it is a scholarship program. Um, you have to be 25 and over. You have to be a Michigan resident. If you just moved to Michigan and have a Michigan ID, you have to have been here for over a year. 
Um, the state of Michigan announced this new program to make college education more affordable. This program will pay for in-district tuition, technology fees, and contact hours that are not already covered by a Pell Grant or other tuition-only funds. So that means that if you want to go to the community college and get your associate's degree or get a degree in some type of certification, they are paying for it in full if the college is in your district. If it is out of your district, Whatever the cost is between um, the difference between out of district and in district, you would have to cover. However, please take full advantage of the programs that are available to you because this stuff is not going to be around forever. So if you have an opportunity, it's free, take advantage. Pull the resources for yourself, pull the resources for someone that you may know. Um, thank you for tuning in to the Highland Park Spotlight. Thank you, Officer Wilborn, for being on air with me. It was um, great information that was needed. If you're interested in becoming a reserve officer, police officer, or a chaplain, make it happen. Let's, you know, get band together as a community and really make a change here in Highland Park. I'm your host, Keisha B. Thank you for tuning in. You can catch me every second and fourth Wednesday of each month. Every second and fourth Wednesday of each month from 1130 to 1230. And I am signing out. Peace. Watching WHPS TV, Detroit Live. This is a free program for our young adults. The Detroit Empowerment Program is sponsoring an introductory to basic broadcasting course. Our open house is Saturday, February the 25th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Martin Evers Missionary Baptist Church at 11111 Whittier in Detroit, Michigan. Call 313 405-9990 for more information. This course is free for all young adults. You ready to put your podcast on iHeartRadio? Yes, your podcast on iHeartRadio. What about Alexa, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, Android, or iPhone? Plus live TV streaming. Get your podcast seen and heard all over the world. Call 313-868-6612. Pre-recorded shows are accepted to be archived. This is a WHPR distribution platform. Download the app from the App Store. Go to WHPRTV.com. Channels available for lease 24-7 on Roku. Cool Fire Stick or Apple TV. Coming soon, subscription and pay per view. Also, block time is available. Get yours. Call 313 868 6612. That's 313 868 6612. Executive producer RJ Watkins. Program director Henry Tyler. 107.5 FM WGPR HD2. Radio We Can See.com.